Good morning. Today is Wednesday, April 8th, 2020. We're in the middle of Holy Week. And um, I'm going to wait just a few moments here uh, to see uh, as others log on. It looks like we have a few folks watching um, already this morning. So uh, we'll wait just a just a moment uh, before before we begin. Good morning, Kim. Happy birthday to Kim Kleinage. Uh, she has just logged on. I know she's celebrating today. Um, good morning, Kim Love, also in Brittany. Good to see you. Um, so I'm, I'm watching comments uh, here. I, I hope that everyone survived the storm well last night. Um, it, was, it was a little scary uh, to get the alert on my phone around 11.30 or so last night and um, go to shelter in the basement. Um, so I, I trust that everyone uh, did well through that. Um, I took a walk this morning, a brief walk just around the church to check things out and it didn't look like there was any major damage uh, here within our village. Uh, I did see uh, just some tree branches and those kinds of things down, uh, but grateful um, for the safety of everyone in the midst, um, in the midst of this. So um, I'm concerned a little bit about those in um, other areas. I know um, up in Medina things were harder hit and there are still people uh, without power and, and all of that. So uh, prayers certainly for, for all of those who are affected by the storm. It's a little scary to be in the midst of this pandemic and to be isolated and then to have uh, the storm come through as well. Um, so... Um, these are, are definitely scary times, but we're, we're grateful um, that even in the midst of the storms that God, that God is with us. Um, so I'm grateful to see uh, Dave Moore on this morning too. I see Amy Winicki and Gail Christensen with a report that Dave is much better today. So praise God for that. We are, um, are continuing our prayers for Dave um, during this time, and we're grateful that he is he is feeling better today. So thank you, Gail, for, for giving us that update. I was actually thinking about the two of you this morning when I went out for my walk um, to check on the church, and it was just before 9 o'clock, and right at 9 o'clock the carillon uh, started to play. And um, interestingly, it's playing Holy Week hymns or um, some Good Friday hymns about Jesus' death, and one of them was, What Wondrous Love Is This? And... Um, Again, a good reminder that even in the midst of uh, the storms and all of those things that, that happen, that God indeed loves us. So I um, was grateful, grateful for that and um, knowing that God, Christ endured a whole lot uh, for us and uh, so grateful for that. Just a few things to share with uh, you all about our church and, and um, what's happening within the life of our congregation. Um, Again, continuing to remind folks to participate in our Easter Egg Go. As I walk around the village, I see more and more folks with eggs in their windows and other things. Um, I'll be making a little bit more of an announcement about this tomorrow, but the Easter Bunny is going to be making some appearances, so um, just be aware of that. You never know when the Easter Bunny might be might be around, so um, look out for for that too. Uh, Friday evening we will have our Good Friday uh, Tenebrae service and then on uh, Sunday morning I will be live in the gazebo uh, with a song and uh, some scripture and such meditation uh, to celebrate the resurrection. And then for our um, 930 resurrection celebration I'm really excited to announce that we're collaborating with um, West Salem United Methodist Church on uh, Sunday morning and uh, the pastor at their church 
is an organist, a music teacher and organist, uh, Lori Douglas Weaver. And so we're going to collaborate and uh, she will be coming to Leroy and the two of us will uh, lead worship together uh, and she will play the organ. So we have some organ music um, on Sunday morning. That's not to discount Nancy. We're, we're keeping our organist, Nancy, safe um, and uh, away uh, from others during this time. Um, so we appreciate Nancy as well and all that she does for our church too. So those are some exciting things uh, related to our worship um, in the coming days. A scripture uh, that has come to mind uh, this morning for me is our uh, Holy Week scriptures. This is one of the prescribed texts for the Wednesday today of, of Holy Week. And um, there's usually four scriptures that are prescribed for a particular day, an Old Testament lesson, uh, a gospel lesson, a psalm, and then a New Testament or epistle lesson. And the, the, the New Testament one spoke to me especially this morning. It comes from the book of Hebrews, uh, chapter 12, verses 1 through 3. And in the previous chapter, they're talking about uh, the faith of Moses and the faith of other Israelite heroes. And so uh, chapter 12 begins this way. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the sake of the joy that was set before him endured the cross, disregarding its shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such, who endured such hostility against himself from sinners, so that you may not grow weary or lose heart. And so that's my prayer for us today, that we won't grow weary or lose heart, um, that we will run with perseverance the race that is set before us, uh, looking to Jesus, who is the author and the perfecter and pioneer of our faith. Um, and we have all of these witnesses who have gone before us, who, who show us that we can indeed endure. Um, grateful for Jesus Christ and all that he has done for us. So hold on to that today. Uh, tomorrow, uh, I'll be back here at 9.30 and we'll be reading uh, the Monday Thursday scriptures as we remember Jesus and his final meal with his disciples. Um, but of course, be back on again today at 10 o'clock with story time. This week we're doing um, some of our staff favorites. So you'll want to tune back in at 10 o'clock uh, for story time and then again tomorrow morning at 9.30 for uh, our Monday Thursday scriptures and encouragement. So um, thank you to everyone who's logged on this morning. Good to see all of you. Uh, if you logged on late, you can catch the beginning of the video uh, once I log off here. So um, have a blessed day, everyone. And we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.